everybody, Pat Gillis here. You probably notice at this time of year, if you're around horses at all, that they're really starting to shed. Okay, you'll have, um, as their winter coat is starting to fall out, and their summer coat is starting to grow in, they're really, really itchy, and they really, really enjoy a good groom. I remember there was that lady, Barbara Woodhouse, years ago, who used to uh, do stuff with the dogs, and she would talk about blowing into the horse's nostrils. I would say that after looking at the video we did a couple of weeks ago about what happens when horses connect on the nostril level, I wouldn't want to put my face there and get in that way, especially a horse I don't know. You're awfully close to his mouth, and if you blow his nostril the wrong way and he takes an offense to it, you know, you're a little bit close and you might get bitten, right? So that's never something I would do. If you really want to make friends with your horse, the easiest way to do it is to scratch their issue spots. If you get a chance to watch horses at Liberty, you'll always see that the guys who get along really well will stand out in the field and do what we call mutual grooming. So they'll stand nose to tail and scratch each other's itchy spots. So I, to be honest, I make a habit of it. If one of my horses is reaching around trying to scratch himself, I will always go to that spot and scratch it for him because I figure that's a great way for him to know that I'm a friend of his. Here's a nice memory for those of us who remember Buttercup. He's getting a great grooming here and he was really, really enjoying it. And just because that was the kind of guy he was, he was prepared to do a little mutual grooming with Brenda as well. You just have to be careful, though, because sometimes they'll get going with their teeth, and then that's a little bit too much for us to handle. And so at this time of year, you can end up with horses, even like Aiden, who's a thin-skinned thoroughbred, he will just love being groomed like this. Like, there's times a year where you wouldn't get away with this with Aiden, because um, he's a bit of a sensitive fellow, but you don't have to know too much about horses to look at this face and realize that he's really, really enjoying what Janet's doing there. One of the reasons that a horse is so itchy in this area is because if even they lie down to roll, this spine, especially on a big withered horse like this, this hits the ground and maybe the big shoulder hits the ground, but there's this gap right in here that he just can't get at. So that's why you'll often find that's a great spot to uh, scratch a horse. If you watch again in slow motion, you can see how he just misses that little piece on his back where I was scratching him. There you go. See the gap? <laughs> so that's why it's so nice for them when we scratch that part for them, because it's really hard for them to get that part. Okay. Well, that's it for this week. If you're watching this anywhere besides at our blog, which is at ismyhorsehappy.com, go on over there, scroll down and leave a message and let us know if you've got some itchy horses to deal with. In the meantime, I hope spring is coming for you. It looks like we've got one last weekend of winter, but it's just around the corner now. So we'll see you next week, and remember to thank your horse.